Hi everyone, my name is Steph, this is Little Bookish Teacher and today I am here to share a review of a picture book that I have absolutely fallen in love with. That is Pasta by Felice Arena and illustrated by Beatrice Siroki. I think that's how you pronounce it. This is just a gorgeous book that celebrates all things pasta. And I think that is just a wonderful, wonderful idea. The blurb on the back says, these pasta words are fun to say. Spaghetti, fagatini, ditalini, Morgratini, manicotti, and your lottie, that's a lottie. Pasta tastes delicious, but do you know that pasta names are also fun to say? Grab your fork and spoon and get stuck into this rhyming feast. It's enough to make anyone hungry for pasta. Now, part of my family background is Italian. My mom is an incredible cook and she makes the best pasta and occasionally does make it from scratch as well. And when I saw this book, I had to immediately get a copy of it for her. So she had a copy at home to read to my niece. And then we, you know, we actually read it to my niece. My niece is only 12 weeks old. And she just loved listening to the, the sounds as we read the story because it does, the whole thing has rhyming text the whole way through it. It lists all of the pasta and goes through just a fun play with words kind of story that is a really joyous celebration of this very common food that a lot of people know, a lot of people love. And it has, you know, these beautiful, bright illustrations that are bold and kind of easy to see. So there's not a lot of detail is getting lost in the background because the pictures are so prevalent. It also has these gorgeous end papers that have all of the different types of pasta listed with their names, which is amazing. And there were a few types of pasta that even mum, my sister and I were sitting there going, oh, I didn't realize that that was called that. So as it lists all the different types of pasta and then has occasionally a few little made up rhyming words to go along with it just to keep the story moving. It's a really fun story to read. It's got such a great rhythm to it when you read it aloud. There are also snippets of a couple of Italian words in here that very common words like manja and ciao and basta. And that was, you know, entirely the reason why I got it from my mum because she is the nonna in our family now and she had a great time reading it. And then since then we have also gotten copies for my sister, for one of my sister's friends and for one of my cousins as well, because we just fell in love with it. So really this is kind of just the perfect gift book. It's not something that you're going to spend a lot of time unpacking a lot of big deep issues with, but it's a great book just to celebrate the love of something simple and celebrating food and culture, which is always important in books as well. I will leave links to where you can find out more information about this book down below or where you can purchase it. In the comments, I would love to know if you've read this book or if you're planning on picking it up, or if you would like to share your favorite kind of pasta, feel free to leave that down below as well. If you wanna let me know that you're here but you don't leave a comment, feel free to leave the pasta emoji in the comments. Otherwise, I hope that wherever you are in the world, you're staying safe and healthy, and I will see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye everyone.